Hey guys, welcome back. In today's lesson, we're gonna be learning how to make this LCD display with our Arduino microprocessor. And so on this display right here, we are gonna be adding a breadboard, we'll be adding a resistor, a potentiometer, and then all of our lines or wires that connect our microprocessor to our LCD display. And so on this LCD display, it is going to be a happy birthday display. So when I hit start simulation, this is what it's going to show. And so when we code this, you can code it to say whatever you want. Uh, for this example, it's going to say this. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back into our Tinkercad. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to create a new circuit. And so when you come in here and you create new circuits, here's all of your basic components. We are going to have to go into our all components. And so in case you did not know, if you go over here to this menu right here, when you click on this menu, it will explain what each one of those components is. Okay. And so the first thing that we need is a breadboard. And so we're going to scroll down here until we find our breadboard. Actually, Let's pull out this LCD because we are going to need that. Then we're going to need a small breadboard. Pull that out. And then we're going to need our Arduino. So our Arduino R3. We'll bring that over here. And so let's scroll this out a little bit. Let's place all of our components where we need them. Okay, and so now we're ready. And so the first thing that we're going to be pulling out for components on our breadboard are going to be our resistors. And so we're going to pull out a resistor here. And we're going to be placing this resistor on line number 18. And it's going to be in the positive terminal 2. And the terminal 1 is going to be on line number 18i. Okay, and so now that's one resistor. What we're going to do is we're going to connect that resistor and we're going to be using a 220 ohm. So let's go ahead and change this to 220. Let's change this to a regular ohms, 220 ohm resistor. And so for this one right here, we're going to use some different colors this time. And we're going to use our first color is going to be a brown wire. So a normal wire type, we're going to choose a brown wire. And so from H18, we're going to bring that wire down to our LED anode. Okay, and so we're going to move this over till this is nice and straight. And so it's connecting from H18 to our LED anode. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have our LED cathode, and we're going to put a ground wire going from the LED cathode up to our ground line. So we're going to go over here, check a black wire out, LED cathode to our negative ground wire line. Next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a on our DB7, our DB7, which is going to uh, help program the LCD screen. We're going to use a purple line and we're going to go up to F 17. So from DB7 to F17, we're going to go over here. We're going to choose out a purple line. So let's change this to purple. DB7 to F17. And then we're going to go from G17 up and then over to our number two on our R3. So we're going to go ahead and move that over to number two. That's going to be our first line that we go into our Arduino our Uno R3. R is going to be number two. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to do our DB6 line. Now the DB6 line we're going to use, we're going to click off here. We're going to go to our, we're going to go, we're going to use a blue line. And so again, it's going to be the same thing for the rest of these lines. We're going to go up to 
our F, our F line, and we're just going to start going to the left. So F16, and then from G16, we're going to come up. And then we're going to go over to our number negative three. So let's go ahead and go over to negative three. So the next line we're going to do is going to be our DB5 line. And for the DB5 line, we're going to use a turquoise DB5. And again, we're just going up to our, our F, whatever it is. This is going to be 15. And then we're going to take it from our G15. And on this one right here, we're going to be going to our four port. So number four. And so each one of these lines, as it, as it gets programmed in, when we, when we program our Arduino, this, this is where that information is going to get sent to. Okay, so we're now we're on right now we're on DB4. And so DB4 is the last big line. We're going to use green for that. And so we're going to go over here, DB4. So click off DB4. And this is going to be on our negative five line. All right. And so now we have all of those lines done. And so now what we have to do is we have to program our enable. Okay. And so for enable, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going up again to our F line. And so it's going to be from enable up to F9. And then from F9, and then we're going to skip over and we're going to go up to our J9 and we're going to bring that over to our negative 11. So let's go ahead and choose a yellow line for our enable. And so we're looking for enable here. And like I said, we're going to go up to our F9 and then from our J9, we're going to go over to our negative 11. Negative 11 is right here. So here we go right here. All right, so let's straighten this out. All right, so now the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting another ground wire. And so let's go ahead and let's click off of here. Let's go ahead and put a black wire. And so the ground is gonna be on our read and write, and it's gonna be going up to that ground line. So ground to read and write. Our next one is going to be our register and select, and we're going to use an orange wire for that one. So let's go ahead to orange, register and select, and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the yellow. So we're going to go up to the F. This is going to be F7, and then we're going to go to our J7, and so the J7 is going to go up to the number 12. And so we can straighten this up. All right. And so we're getting pretty close here. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to program our contrast. And so the contrast is going to be actually connected uh, to a potentiometer. And so let's do let's look for a potentiometer right here. And so we're going to put our potentiometer and we're going to put it on our C2, 3 and 4. So we're going to pull this out and I'm going to put it on C2 three and four, the wiper needs to be on the three. Okay, the wiper needs to be on the three, terminal one is two, and then the terminal two is gonna be on the four. And now this potentiometer, its resistance is gonna be 250, and we're gonna keep it at the K level. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna choose a purple cable and we're going to go from our contrast and we're going to bring it over. We want to take, we want to kind of have this turn for us. And we're going to bring it over to, let's, let's bring it here first. Uh, let's see if I can go in the middle here. I don't want to, 
I don't want to bring it in. Okay, now I'm going to bring it over to our B3. Bring this back down. And so what I didn't want to do was I didn't want to have this connect into any of these other ports. I want to make sure that it is connected onto the port that it needs to, which this one needs to go from contrast and it needs to go to B3 or yep, B3 and not get attached to any of these other ports. So that's important. The next one is going to be our power wire. And so for power, we're going to be using red. So let's click off here first, make sure we're clicked off. And so power and it's going to go up to our positive terminal. And now what we need to do is we need to ground out that potentiometer. So we're going to go back over here, hit our black wire again. And this is going to be ground to the ground port right here. And then we're going to be doing a second one from terminal two down to ground. And then we're going to go ground to and we're going to bring this over here and we're going to go to ground here on our on our uno we can straighten this up all right so the last line that we have to do on this is going to be our power line and so we're going to go over here to the red and we're going to go from our five volt because we need a five volt power for this we're going to bring it down and we're going to go up to our positive line here. All right. And so now let's check it out. Let's make sure we're good. Okay. So we do need a couple of more, a couple of more lines because this right here, this power line, we need to connect it up to our terminal. And we also need a ground line that is going to connect up to our ground wire on the top. And so what we're going to do is our power line again, we're going to take our power line from this side of our breadboard and we're going to bring that up to the power line here. And then we're going to ground out this ground to this ground. So that's just going to take those off the board for us. So that way it knows that as it comes down here, once it hits this power, it's going into the LCD. It's going to start powering all of these different lines right here. And it grounds out here and doesn't keep going along this board. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to program this. Okay. So if we hit start simulation right now, it turns on, but it doesn't say anything. Right. So let's hit stop simulation. And so let's go over here to code. And so this is the first time that we've, we've learned how to code here. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to code text. It's going to say, you want to change the block editor? Yes, I want to change it. And so this is what we're going to be coding here. And so right now this is C++. One hour later. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy and paste this code into your, go into your assignment today. You're going to go ahead and copy. And then inside of this text area, you're going to paste this code into the area. So I was going to have you write it out. I actually recorded a video showing you how to write it out, but that took 12 minutes and that's way too long for you guys to, to work through. So I'm going to have you guys just copy this in. And now once you have that code in, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back over. So we're going to hit code again. And we're going to go ahead and rename this to Happy Birthday LCD. And the last thing we have to do is test our LCD screen. So we're going to go ahead and hit Start Simulation. Now, once you hit Start Simulation, you should see Happy Birthday Stevenson, which is what is coded here. This is the area that's that shows that code. Now, if you want to change this to something else, you can. But for the submission, make sure it stays as Happy Birthday Stevenson. And then once you're done, you can change it to Happy Birthday Mom or Happy Mother's Day Mom. That would be a great one. And so what we're going to do is go back over here. And so now if your LCD screen is not showing anything, so let's hit Stop Simulation. It may be because your potentiometer is in this position, right? 
And so if the potentiometer is in any other position except for on high, the only way you can change it is when you hit start simulation, you can come back over to your, here to your potentiometer and you can move this lever all the way down to the high position and it should allow that, that current to flow through and now it will show the message. Okay, guys, that is it for today. Make sure that you submit your screenshot. And if you have any questions, please ask your teacher and have a great day.